we have delete button, save, and close. So we need to get rid for this one. We will remove that one. This is optional, so it's up to you. Here, I will make it here none. Lock, close, save, and delete. So now we need to put the code first in save button. Click this one save go to event then click this one do cmd that save then we will put a message box just to notify us that our entries successfully successfully save double quote double quote in comma so we'll choose bv information this one Tab. then comma so we'll put our text box header form header right caption form caption is mini store database okay then this is it lock if we will click this one and hit save lock this is the one mini store database in successfully save you can change also instead of this information you can change also another option here just change instead of bb information you can see it also critical it's showing red look but this is not advisable because it's showing it's like an error so that bb information is appropriate BB information. That one. If you will click save lock. Next is we will put also for delete. So delete buttons we must put some restriction also or message for us to decide either delete or not to delete so I will put the code here delete button but before that we need to put some here private boolean this is confirm so that every time we will delete we system will ask confirmation for us to proceed to delete because sometimes if you accidentally press the button to delete so if there's no restriction or confirmation so our data will be lost so this is very 
helpful or essential to protect our data for accidentally delete. Now I have already code for this delete because this is quite long so I will just only copy this one here so this is our delete button to delete our data here so we have option to cancel or will not delete so we have another function for the confirmation this one look before this is the confirmation for us to option to confirm before executing this delete button there is a confirmation here for before delete confirm so this is the message shown are you sure you want to delete the record so there is an option either to proceed yes or no so to cancel otherwise if you will cancel cancel automatically your current record it will undo otherwise it will delete again this is our delete code here and this is very important to confirm for otherwise it will make it undo whatever the existing data and here this is before deletion it gives you an option either to cancel the current record so this we have three important code to execute our delete button receive lock if I click this one delete this data lock it asking are you sure you wish to delete the current record this data if we will click no automatically lock it will restore or undo again if I click this one so this is very essential to avoid accidentally delete the data so it will keep asking you either to delete or to select no so next is in close button so we we'll put do cmd that save because if we will forget to save the data automatically there if you close the form it will save then here do cmd that close then act form this one then our form which is here item details item details so this is our form then act save 
Yes. There is an error here. I forgot to put the camera. Now it's okay. Again, if we will select save, it will ask you to save. If I will click also delete, it will ask you to delete or no. Then we'll close the form. Then open. Now I will copy this one here because every time we will open here it's showing our first record so if we will add another items so instead by putting here new we can make also separate form just copy that one then paste then here we put add new item just copy this one why we will use that one because if we will double click if i will click this close look it will not close why our code here close since we are copied from item details so we need to change right click then paste that one then close so add new still there is a record now we will modify that one on on load event here we'll put here do cmd dot go to re record go to record this one act active data object comma then act comma then act new rec here Look, I will show you the I will show you the difference here details. If I double click, it's showing the first record. But here, if I click this one, add new item. Object is not open. I think we have some error here. Do CMD go to record active data object that there is an error. Here. I make it wrong lock so I need to put two comma for our another command at new rec sorry for that look if I open it will give us blank then here it's showing our details